right coming to the last topic of this uh, unit 1 chapter 2 that is agile unified process so in the previous topics we have already seen the unified process consisting of four phases right like inception elaboration construction and transition with the help of that the unified process it will be applying agile it is integrating agile so with the help of this agile unified process integrating in up let me have see how it will works let me see how it will be goes on right here uh, aup it stands for unified the agile unified process a serial in the large and iterative in small serial in large means like it is a unified process model it will be goes in a linear fashion serial serial if you are developing it will applicable large application if you have a iteration it will be make as a small means each iteration will be consisting as a increment so th with the help of this uh, philosophy inside it will build, build computer based system so as per the amb 2006 the definition of aup has given that it adopts a serial in the large and iterative in small philosophy for building computer based system now by adopting this classical up classical up means what already we have seen classical up consisting of four phases inception first one second one elaboration third one construction fourth one transition with the help of this by adopting this the classic uh, up unified process phase aup means agile unified process provides a serial overlay serial in the sense is a linear sequence of software engineering activities that enables a team to visualize the overall process flow so overall process flow in the sense process flow for software project management means here in the development of this software computer based system or computer based software it supports in a linear sequence manner as well as iterative because iterative will talks about frequent changes agile itself talks about frequent changes now as a combined of classical up the proper definition for agile unified process can gives as it provides a serial overlay serial overlay means it supports it adopts the software engineering activities why to enables a team to visualize the overall process flow of software project coming to the activities like we have uh, different activities right so uh, communication modeling planning all such type of construction deployment activities or the framework activities here also in agile uh, unified process we have some activities the first activity is modeling so in modeling what you are doing is with the help of uml representation which we are going to uh, deal in the week 3 onwards in software engineering lab will deals with the uml unified modeling language with the help of that it represents the business and problem domains need to be created in the modeling and also just barely good enough to allow team to proceed means in the modeling it directly gives the activity how your project will look like with the help of uml representation so in uml we have different types of diagrams like class diagram object diagram sequence diagram activity diagram collaboration diagram deployment diagram all different nine different diagrams are there now as per the new uh, era it's a 13 diagrams also available in uml the second activity is implementation so whatever in the modeling you are doing that convert into source code right the third one is a testing like we have extreme programming already we have discussed in the extreme programming unit testing acceptance testing this acceptance testing is also called as user uh, test or user acceptance so like xp extreme programming the team designs and executes a series of tests to uncover the errors and ensure the source code meets its requirement so testing purpose is for different uh, sort of test cases when you write it it will be done and will check whether it gives the proper for a given input proper output or not whether for the uh, expected input expected output is coming or not desired output is coming or not the fourth activity is deployment deployment the name itself it is going to be deploying the page the fourth uh, activity is deploying so like we have a general process activities in the deployment in the same context it also we in the deployment uh, framework activity what we are doing 
we are delivering the project and taking the feedback from the customer the same fashion here also in aup in the deployment deliver the software and get back the acquisition of feedback from the end users the same thing you can do here as well the fifth uh, framework activity is configuration and project management once the project has received to the customer we had to be configure that configure in the sense we had to make some settings over there and the project management has to deal addresses some of the risk or some of the any issues or there so configuration management addresses change management risk management and control of any persistent work product that produced by the team so this activity will done will address some of the uh, task like the first task is change management second task in this activity is risk management third is it is going to be give some sort of control of any persistence works done by the team now these three tasks already are aware a activity consisting of some tasks so this three tasks will be addressed by this configuration project management activity and the last uh, activity is environment management so this environment management deals with the process infrastructure that includes like the task standards are following or not what type of tools they are going to be using over there and any other new supporting technology is required to run the project all such type of task will be done in environment management like standards tools and the technologies which required to develop this and to support the project so these are the six different activities framework uh, like the framework activities in agile unified process also there the first activity is modeling second activity implementation third one testing fourth one deployment fifth one configuration project management fifth one environment management so this is about aup agile unified process right so if you have any doubts any uh, sort of doubts please let me know so that's about the agile unified process